My name is Jeff Lyon, Kapali to my friends in Hawaii. I'm a professor of religious studies at the University of Hawaii and teach courses on the Old and New Testaments, the life of Jesus, and other biblical literature. I was a Republican well before my first presidential election in 1972, and yes, I did vote for Nixon. I voted for Ford, Reagan, Bush Sr., Bush Jr. My favorite political writers have been William F. Buckley and his literary heirs. Republican priorities of fiscal repos- responsibility, clear and determined foreign policy, and fidelity to the vision of the Founding Fathers have always resonated with me. I believe, in accordance with the Declaration of Independence, that rights are God-given, not the prerogative of any state. I want to talk about Donald Trump and religion, my field of academic res- expertise. I am not only a professor of religious studies, I am a Christian, not any particular brand, but I take it seriously. All persons who call themselves Christians, for all our differences, agree on following Jesus. Even when we do not live up to his teachings, we believe in forgiveness, truth, compassion, and doing better next time. We recite the Lord's Prayer, ask forgiveness at communion, know we should pray for our enemies, and speak the truth. These things matter to us and are part of our response to God's grace. Donald Trump has betrayed not only our country, but our religion. He has no clue of what it means to follow Jesus. What do we think of his humility, his honesty, his sexual restraint, his kindness and compassion? Jesus taught us that we would know a tree by its fruit. What do we think of the fruit that grows on the Trump tree? Jesus taught that we would be on the lookout for wolves in sheep's clothing. Who snarls more than Donald Trump? Both prophets and apostles warned of proud, lying boasters who would lead many astray. Trump is a liar and a braggart who promises anything to get votes and is quite willing to let us go on thinking he's a Christian, so long as we don't expect him to act like one. We wouldn't put up with such bragging and lying from a child, but we smile and wink when it comes from the light White House. I have never voted for a presidential candidate based on his or her religion, but I will vote against Donald Trump for the contempt that he shows for mine. Donald Trump held up a Bible as a, for a photo op after using brute force to clear a church. According to Trump's own chief of staff for Homeland Security, also a lifelong Republican, Trump himself ordered the forced separation of immigrant children from their parents. He courts the friendship of tyrants and bullies, puts his own interests above that of the nation, but beyond it, beyond it all, he lies and lies and covers it up with more lying. Enough, my brethren. Although he does not take our religion seriously, we must. Bible readers remember that Peter publicly rebuked Ananias and Sapphira when they tried to distort the power of the Holy Spirit to their own prophet. What do we say about a man who holds up a Bible for a photo op and then tramples it with his life? He relies on our complicity, and we keep making excuses for him. Fake news, media bias, Trump being Trump. We have elected a malignant buffoon who has no use for our values of faith, much less traditional Republican policy. His only policy is to hang on to power, to use the government as though it was his own private company, and it is we who call ourselves Christians who have put him there, and it is now we who must put him out.